Do you know the value of your properties? You might be missing out on OPEX when you list a property for sale. Here are two things that you should definitely check before listing a property for sale. The Upland Metaverse is a social platform, and when you're looking to buy or sell land, there is a lot more to it than just looking at the numbers. I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. On this channel, you can learn everything you need to know about the Upland Metaverse, tutorials, strategies, tips, tricks, and a lot more. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Beyond the obvious of looking at things like the sales price, the monthly earnings, which is a function of the original mint price, and other details that you can see on the property card, there's a lot more that can go into the decision of where to buy or sell a property. The first thing you're going to want to take note of is to see if the property you're looking to sell is part of a growing community. One thing that can help you to determine that is to see how many people have defined that neighborhood as their permanent residence. Players who define their permanent residence in a certain neighborhood are given the ability to vote on future things that are important specific to that neighborhood. There's also a dedicated chat channel for all of the permanent residents of that specific neighborhood. If there are a lot of players that have defined their primary residence there, that means that there's probably a strong community there. And if that's the case, it might be in higher demand. You can head over to this webpage to see exactly how many people have set their permanent residence in that neighborhood. And you might realize that maybe this property that wasn't so interesting to you might be worthwhile to hang on to if you want to learn more about that neighborhood. The second thing that you're going to want to do is to check the neighborhood rating before you list that property. The neighborhood rating is a metric that Upland has defined to help to calculate exactly how strong a community is. Neighborhoods that reach the top of the leaderboard spawn new collections where players are able to earn boosted earnings on some of the properties that they own in that neighborhood. The number of players who have set their primary residence in that neighborhood is just one of the metrics that help to calculate the neighborhood rating. An easy way to get an indication is to look around the map and see if there are a lot of structures being built in that neighborhood. But you can also check out this webpage to see exactly what the neighborhood rating is for that community. And that might help you see things that you maybe weren't looking at when analyzing the property you're looking to sell. You can watch this next video to learn more about these neighborhood ratings. And you can find a lot more information in the links in the description below.